Welcome back to UA Technical Solutions, in this video we have explained how to troubleshoot max oil filter differential alarm in carrier 30XW or 30XA chiller, also practically shown how to replace the external oil filter. As can be seen the discharge pressure is above 1200 kPa and oil pressure is 739 kPa which means either oil transducer or discharge pressure transducer are faulty or external oil filter is blocked and causing the oil pressure to drop. In this case pressure transducer were working fine. So we will move to the replacement of oil filter. Start with the removing of protection guard of oil level switch and isolating valve. Shut off the oil supply line service valve. Connect the manifold gauge on the oil line shutter pin valve to check and release the pressure trapped in the oil line and oil filter. Disconnect the power connection of oil solenoid valve. Now open the gauge and release the pressure inside the oil line so we can lose the oil filter. After pressure is fully released, you can use a 32 mm spanner and start losing the flare nuts of external oil filter located at the top and bottom on the filter. Lose the filter body support bolt and bring it out of the chiller. Take the new filter and make sure O-rings are well seated in the filter. Install the new filter as shown in the video and make sure the arrow is facing upwards as shown.
after hand tightening of oil filter flare nuts. Tight the oil filter body screw so it will hold without adding weight to the oil supply lines. Final tightening of oil filter in and out flare nuts. Connect the oil solenoid power back. Open the oil line service valve and lock the thread and put the safety cover cap. Now you can reset the alarm and start the chiller for test run. As you can see after replacing the oil filter the delta pressure has come down to 37 kPa which was initially above 400 kPa. Thanks for watching please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.